a lot of you guys know that I'm selling my CBR 1000 RR and I want to replace it with another bike. So I'm looking for some new motorcycle suggestions from you guys, but I'm going to give you some bikes that I'm thinking about getting. I want to get your feedback. Let's go for a ride. Hey, hey. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continually video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through i think i found a new spot <laughs> especially for my yz 450 fx baby i can do some wheelie action back here without dealing with coppers this could be a spot, another spot added to my collection. But I, I don't stay in one spot. I don't keep going to the same spots all the time. I mix it up, even though sometimes it may seem like I'm hitting the same spots a lot in some of my videos. But believe me, it's not that often, man. But get some, some little power action over here. No, I'm not, I can't really do any speeding in this spot, but can they can they bust me for speeding in a parking lot? <laughs> Let's get some little torque action out here. You know I ain't doing no speeding, man, but ah, it sucks. I gotta find me a spot where I can really let loose, and that's called the track. I gotta get to the track, man. What's up with this car just sitting here, man? Texting. Man, can't you guys stay off of your phones for a little bit? Gosh. <laughs> Man. But I'll tell you guys that I actually enjoy going slow on my CBR 1000 RR than I do this. This bike is just not as smooth in the lower RPMs like my CBR is, man. I love this bike. But this bike wants to go fast. It bye bye! <laughs> I had to do that shit, man. It doesn't want to be putting around town, man. You know what I'm saying? It's uh. And I gotta get, you know, if I'm gonna be putting around town, I gotta add some sounds to this bike. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Forget the warranty. I don't care about none of that stuff. I think I'm going to go ahead and just add that, that Yashimura pipe on, man. Uh, yeah, it's loud, but I'm not going to be hitting speeding that often where it's going to make that big of a difference anyhow. <laughs> At least I can hear some nice sounds while I'm riding slow. But, you know, I get to understand why a lot of you sport bike riders that, you know, end up selling your bikes and getting a, a harley and cruising around out here on the streets man because honestly you start to realize is basically that's all you could do really out here is just cruise you know because these cops are cracking down i wasn't seeing i was going to see but i don't think so i seen it falling out of the uh, maintenance drive there and the got the lasers now you know laser for their radar now and uh which where the radar detectors are hard you know it's tough for the radar detectors to detect those those lasers they got planes out here in ohio <laughs> they really need money bad out here in ohio as you can see man and uh you know i to be honest with you i think i may go ahead sell the cbr and go ahead and add possibly a harley davidson there I said it. <laughs> I know some of you guys find it hard to believe. Like Psycho Cruiser man, I thought you hated Harley. I don't I dude, I don't hate Harleys. I never said I hated Harleys. I actually think they look really sick. I actually appreciate Harley Davidsons. I just feel they're overpriced, that's all. And I'm not the biggest fan of the dealerships. There's some good ones out there, don't get me wrong. And our local one is not, they're pretty cool, man. You know, even though I did a video in the past and I was talking about, you know, 
how they were uh you know their sales tactics were a bit too strong for me and all that and the one guy was a bit of a douchebag for calling me a <laughs> an astronaut um i just i gotta ask uh how are things on the moon what's that how are things on the moon oh <laughs> <laughs> Cause I with my helmet, cause I chose to, cause I want to try to stay safe out here on the streets with a helmet. And some of the Harley riders out there like to be squids. Um, but I'll tell you guys, it's all about torque out here on the streets. Now I understand why you guys get these Harleys with some good torque on them, or or whatever type of cruisers out there, uh, you know, that have the strong torque. And it really just strong up to like 70 miles an hour that or 80 miles an hour. That's all you need, man. Honestly, I'm really sorry that I sold my Ducati X Diablo. I tell you, I'm really sorry. I wish I'd have just went ahead and put the mid foot pegs on there, no matter how much it costs. Uh, Cause that bike was amazing at low speeds, man. Uh, the torque on that was absolutely beautiful. Oh, baby! Oh, my! Oh, shit! Ah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! And it was a really fun bike to ride. I'm so sick that I got rid of that bike, but I can't get another one because I already had it. That would just, you know, I'd hate to get the bike again for my channel. You know, I've already covered a lot of stuff with that bike already. I want to try something new. And that's why I want you guys to give me some suggestions on what you think I should go with for the next bike. If it is a cruiser. I know a lot of you guys tell me the Suzuki M109R Bose. Which I thought about in the past. But it's such a heavy bike. At like seven, what is it, 700 something plus pounds, man. Gosh. I really don't want anything over 600. I thought about the Harley Davidson V-Rod. Which I think is about 600 or something pounds. And uh, even though they stopped making it, but I'm sure those parts are going to be available for a long time because there's a lot of uh, V-Rod enthusiasts out there. Um, I had thought about, I was going to pull the trigger on one in the past. I was very close to getting a night rod. Um, but then I was like, man, I'm going to try that x Yavel. And I saw a sick deal on it. So... Um, but after riding that X Diablo, it's kind of tough getting on a V-Rod or a uh, any other cruiser out there because that X Diablo was so epic. It was only 500 and what 40 something pounds or 60 something pounds or something like that, uh, and had a ton of torque, 92 pounds feet of torque or whatever, all that power down low in the RPM range. Um, that's what I want. You know, I want I want another bike like that with a ton of torque and just a lot of low down power so when i'm just going light to light i can feel that torque and that's one reason why i really love my yz 450 fx because i love that torque on the bottom man it's beautiful you don't have to go fast to really feel have fun on that bike pop some wheelies here and there and uh it's really and throwing around that little lightweight bike it's real cool so I think I might go ahead and do the cruiser, man. Do a custom bobber, maybe of some sort, or do maybe do a V-Rod muscle. Um, I don't know about, like I said, the M109R Boss. Everybody says it's cool, but like I said, heavy, man. It's just so heavy and big, bulky looking, man. Uh, cool bike though, for sure. Uh, I don't know if you guys can recommend something else. Um, you know, a lot of you guys told me even go ahead and get a Yamaha uh, uh, FZ07 or something because that's really cool for just cruising around out here. Upright seating position. It's got some power down low. See people, you motor vloggers busting wheelies on them. Um, it's kind of hard to go to a, a FZ07 though when you're having a Priya Tuano. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just want, I don't want another sport bike. I just want something totally different. So if you guys can recommend something that is different and really cool at low speeds with ton of torque, that looks cool, not crazy heavy. Can you tell me that special bike out there? Can you recommend it for me? 
and maybe I'll get it. Actually, you guys are the one that recommended the X Diablo. That was I didn't I didn't really know much about it until you guys talked about it. Uh, you guys told me how good it was, awesome it was. So I thank you, viewers, for your suggestions. You suggested the Supermoto 450 Supermoto. You said Cycle Cruiser. That's gonna be the most fun you'll ever have. And I'll tell you guys, it is the most fun I've had so far <laughs> on the street. I love that YZ450 FX Supermoto slash Dual Sport. And, uh, oh man. But anyways, guys, leave some suggestions. Let's talk about it. I, and uh, maybe I'll get you the bike that you recommend. But anyways, guys, for those of you guys who want to get my gear, like this awesome carbon, full carbon fiber helmet I got, super lightweight awesome my camel pants boots gloves jackets this neck brace all my stuff all my gear I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website cyclecruise.com click on the menu tab my gear and that's links to all my stuff thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.